Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in this video. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at three different ways of creating an unbalanced iron condor. Stay tuned in this episode. All right, so one of the ways that you may want to, or reasons why you may want to create an unbalanced iron condor is really because if the stock keeps heading higher, you might want to be a little more bullish or vice versa. If the stock's heading lower, you might want to be a little bearish. So as you look at iron condors, you know, they are typically balanced to start out with. But if you have some stocks that are just really crazy good and just keep going up um, and you're always getting in trouble, let's say on the right side, then you might want to be a little more bullish or uh, skew that iron condor to be a little more unbalanced. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, before we kick things off, I do want to let you know, you could check out some of the uh, other business training that I have on Backstage Income, but you, what you could also do is uh, grab a uh, freebie uh, option trading course uh, for beginners at tradersfly.com and uh, it has a lot of great training. You can also check out the getting started for options trading if you're brand new and check out some um, great courses there on the courses section uh, for iron condors if you're interested in iron condors or check out the options foundation video if you're brand new to options on its own. Okay, let's look at um, Shopify here and we've got Shopify. I just want to show you here. Uh, what's going on and what's happening and how I could create this unbalanced. So let's say I think this stock, if I'm looking at Shopify, is going to continue heading higher or you could do it lower. I'm just going to do the higher example because that's what most people are typically doing or we usually have a market that keeps trending to the upside. So here's my basic iron condor that is balanced. So one of the ways to go in and make this a little more bullish is what? So here I've got a duplicate trade. What I can do is go in and widen the put side. So here I've got, if you look at the distance, I've got the put side at 1100 and 1080 is my protection. What I can do is buy my protection at 1075, which is not traded, so 1070. And now you can see it's unbalanced. So this side has popped higher, this side has popped lower. And now really, if you run this line across, you could see one is higher and one is lower. And that's just really creating it unbalanced. I'm using the same contracts, but I'm unbalancing it with the um, the actual uh, strike. So here I can go to the 1060. I could even go to the 1050, and you can see it's more and more unbalanced. So it's making it even more more so uh, bullish. That's kind of one way of doing it. Okay, let's look at another way of doing it. So what's another way of doing it? Let's say I'm starting back out with my um, iron condor here. So how else can I do this? Well, what I can do is change it to a custom position. And now I can increase the number of puts. So let's say I go to 12 here and 12 here, um, contracts. So what you'll notice is as I increase the number of puts, let's go to 20 and 20. Now I've got an unbalanced iron condor. So I can keep the distance on the strikes the same but I'm just increasing the contracts on uh, the left side here, which is the put side. Okay, now, can I do a combination of this? Yes, you can. Um, I could widen the strikes and widen the, uh, and increase the puts, and now I've got both. So now I've got uh, a difference in the distance. Okay, so the put side's got a bigger difference, and I've also got a difference on the contract numbers. So that can also make it more bullish and unbalanced. Okay, what's the other way that I can do this? So I'm gonna show you these uh, couple of ways. And the other way that I can do this um, is to go in, at least from a simple way, and just to move the puts in tighter. So by moving the puts in tighter, what that's gonna do is make it a higher or stronger delta, and that'll push that line over there. So I can do that, and let's just bring it in about, uh, let's go, 1140 okay and then we'll go we'll keep the distance the same okay so that way the distance is not uh, impacted here and then what is that 20 point difference okay so now I've got 1120 so you can see it brings it in so it increases that Delta now I could keep doing this so what I'm doing now is let's go to the 1200 okay and now I'll go to the 1180 now you can see it's unbalanced. It's not necessarily unbalanced from the capital standpoint. It's unbalanced on the delta side, uh, but it's a lot stronger deltas here on the left or the put side than it is on the right. So I would still consider this kind of unbalanced. Maybe some, some books wouldn't say it's unbalanced, but 
uh, it is unbalanced on the on the delta side. So now I've got a much stronger put side than I do on the call side. And I could also move the call side here, uh, make it uh, go wider, and that would increase uh, or decrease the strength of them and make it even more un unbalanced or more bullish because the current price is here. So I've got much more range in my iron condor for the upside. So anyways, those are a couple of ways to do it. Are there other ways? Yeah, you could tweak it in other ways. Uh, but from a simplistic standpoint, these are the ways to kind of uh, easily go out and uh, take care of it. Again, if you're interested in some of the courses, check out the uh, website traderfly.com. There's also coaching, single coaching and mentoring sessions that I do where I work with people for like six months. Um, and you can also grab a free mini option trading course on our freebie section. So check that out as well. So thanks for joining me. Hope you got a lot out of this video. Give you some things to think about maybe as you're setting up your unbalanced iron condors. Um, grab some of the freebies if you like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And check out other great videos if you care to do so. So thanks again and I will see you next time.